Do you want to have a professional and modern looking signature for your emails just like this one? Well, stick around because that's what we're making today and we're going to use a free service to do so. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now there are many websites out there and services that will tie in with your Gmail and other email clients to create those modern looking signatures. Well, let's jump on the computer and let's make our own in no time and let's use a free service to do so. Now here I'm in Gmail and as you can see when I click on compose there is no signature attached to my message. Now I can always click on this icon down in the bottom to add a signature. Now when I click on that you will see I have no managed signatures and when I go to manage signatures I jump into my settings and that is because you can change your signature right here in your settings. Now when I find the signature area right here it says create a new signature. And when I create a new signature, I can give this a name. So let's just title this demo. Now, sadly, this demo signature is a text and link only signature. Now we can use external services that use HTML to create a more modern looking image, just like the one you see here, or even that one down below. Now, one such service is the free service by HubSpot. Now you can find that by going to that link in the description below, or you simply type ctdeclerc.com slash SIG, as in S-I-G. Now that's a short link and that will bring you straight to their service. This is what it looks like. I'm going to open it up in a new tab. I'm going to pop that link in there, ctdeclerc.com forward slash SIG, and that just brings us to the HubSpot website. We're going to jump into this free email signature creator and on the left hand side we can select our signature template. So you can see we have a first template right here, a second template, this is slightly larger. We also have this small slick and clean template and many more. So now I'm going to choose template three. Okay, now I want to customize this. So let's go ahead and create our own. We're going to go to the second tab and this is where we can now customize it. So let's go ahead and change the name. First name, Seti, de Klerk. Job title, Teacher, Department, EdTech Integration. Company name, we're going to put Flipped Classroom Tutorials. And then the office phone number. Now we could just make up a number, but for now we're going to leave this blank. A mobile number, I'm not going to add that. I am going to add my website. So let's go ahead and add our website. There we go. An email address. Okay, I'm going to add in my email address. And then we can add an address. Now I'm going to leave that blank as well. Here we can now enter in our social links. Now these social links will be linked from your signature. And the great thing about combining this with Gmail is you can have multiple signatures. So maybe some of your signatures are your professional signatures linking out to the school's social links. And then the other signatures that you can select are your personal ones linking out to your own social networks. So let's do that right now. So we're going to add in our Facebook. There we go. Add in our Twitter and we can even add in a custom field. So let's say that you have a second job description or something else or a quote that you'd like to share. You can put that in the custom field. Now I'm going to leave that blank for now. Now you can already see from the preview that my signature is starting to take shape. So I have my name, position and then here on the right hand side that email and a link to the website. We also have our social links at the bottom, Facebook and Twitter. Now I'm going to go on to the next step and that is to choose the design or the style. We can change these theme colors. So I'm going to go with my theme colors. So the first one will be the dark blue of our logo. And then the text will be a dark blue as well, even darker. And then the link color that can be a dark, a light orange. So where we're going to select this one right here. And that can be an orange yellowish color. So let's go ahead and select the orange yellow color. There we go, those are our links. We can also change the font. I'm going to select the Lucida font and then the size of that font, but I'm going to leave it at medium. Okay, next step, we're going to jump into the images. This is the fourth tab. Here we can upload a profile picture, a company logo, 
and we can even have a custom call to action. So here, for example, the call to action could be to go and visit the YouTube channel. So we're going to do that now. Come visit me on YouTube. And then we're going to put our YouTube link there. There we go. So now we have that extra button there. So when they click on that, they will be sent to my YouTube page. I'm going to change the color of that because it is YouTube. So we're going to make it that YouTube red that everyone knows about. So let's go ahead and choose a dark red. There we go. The text can stay the same. Now we can also use a call to action image, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to go up and we're going to upload that profile picture. Now you do need to have a hosted image or a link to an image. So let's go ahead and find that. Okay, I have my image here. I'm going to add that there. It's automatically added to the signature. I can also add a company logo. So I can use the flipped classroom tutorial logo. Let's go ahead and do that. And this is what that would look like. Now, I don't like the design of it with the company logo. So let's get rid of that company logo. We're going to just remove that link and leave it as it is. Okay, I'm happy with this signature. I have an image. I have all the information I want. Now, how do I get this into my Gmail? Well, it's as simple as a few clicks. We're going to first of all, click on create signature. Here we can select how many employees work at our company. Well, for me, it is a single person. So we're going to click on confirm and submit. Here you can put in your phone number and there we go. You are presented with your signature. It says it's time to put it to work. So here at the bottom, we can click on copy signature, copy the signature source code or email it to your colleagues. We're going to click on copy signature. So let's go ahead and click on copy signature. Click on copy signature and we jump back into our Gmail. Now, if you are using a different service, HubSpot also provides you with a guide to add it to all the other clients you may use. So here at the bottom, you'll see add to Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo Mail or Apple Mail. I'm using Gmail, so I'm just going to copy that signature, go into my Gmail and then here where my signature is, I'm going to paste it in there. Automatically, everything is formatted the way I want it formatted. And then we scroll all the way down to my settings and click on save changes. Now, if you ever want to change your signatures or add multiple signatures, no problem. You can go back into your settings. Let's preview it first and then see how we change our signature. I'm going to click on compose. This is my new email. When I click on this icon, I can insert a signature. I'm going to insert the demo signature. Here you can see that signature that we've just created together. There it is at the bottom, but I can also go and click on this, go to manage signatures, and this will bring me into our settings. In my settings now, I can add in multiple signatures. So here, when I click on create new, this can be my second signature. We can have a demo and a second signature. It is important, however, for Gmail to always click on save settings whenever you change something. So this is how you can create those modern, sleek looking signatures that everyone is using whenever they're sending professional emails. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Share this with someone who may be wondering about signatures, or maybe you can share it with someone who has a bit of a dull looking signature and maybe tell them, hey, have a look at this video. Time to upgrade that signature. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Time to go watch this video next and I will see you in the next one.